Terry Vision here at Eurovision Song Contest in the brand new wonderful press centre. Now, joined now by Anna Mancini. Hello, Anna. How are you doing? Hello, I'm great. How are you? I'm doing very well. Sorry to give you a bit of a surprise. We're running around very busy here with no internet connection, which means we can't listen to the music. It's not terrible, you've already done your bit, so we've missed that one. That's fine. Now, tell me about the song. It's the first sort of modern, dancey, music, liney, flashy across the screen we're going to see in the second semi, first semi final. That's right. First semi final, I got that bit wrong. <laughs> That's right, first semi final. <laughs> so, tell us about the song. It's the sort of style that you've been playing with your band Zinc with Thonka Thong. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. The, the, the band, sing with them. You, the band you play with. Oh, the band that I, yes, executive. What's the, what, executive? Yeah, executives. It's spelled a funny way, isn't it? It's a very funny name spelling, yeah. So, exactly. is this the sort of music that you normally play with then? Um, yeah, I like to do anything, like disco, house, dance, genre. So, what attracted you to this song? Um, this song is uh, actually uh, kind of the plan that we made when we decided to write a song for Eurovision. Um, RTV Slovenia and the network and that has the idea to do an EDM song, a house EDM song. So that's kind of how that came about. Now, yourself, American, I can tell from the accent, yes? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, how much did you know about Eurovision before you came to Slovenia? I knew about it. Yeah, I, I've known about it uh, since I was a child, actually. Um, I've always been a performer and s loved to sing, so this is something that crossed my, my ears at one point or another when I was a child, so I knew about it. So, now you're singing for Slovenia. Obviously, there's always the chance that you might not win the contest. <laughs> of course. <laughs> is the fact that you're singing now here in Slovenia going to damage anybody in America? Because they're not going to see you win at all, are you? Or lose, or well, anything. It won't really matter in, in, in America at all. It'll only matter in Slovenia. <laughs> I like that. That's a good plan. Yeah. Come to Eurovision and it doesn't matter what the result is because nobody will ever hear of you again. Well, it, it does matter to me. Uh, you, they'll hear you in Slovenia. Oh, I'm in Slovenia <laughs> now, so of course it, it would really be uh, something terrible uh, if you... Well, I don't think it's necessary that you win, but, um, you know, just to do, do something well, that would be, I think, the, the hardest part. So, do you have any plans for after your revision then? Concerts, um, tours? I continue to work on music collaborations that I have been working on. Yeah. Is there anybody out there that you'd particularly like to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Well, we can get uh, up there to some, some people that are really uh, 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 high, but I would, of course, love to work with some producers like Avicii and... You know, uh, of course, uh, David Guetta or Zed or something like that would be amazing. Well, I'm afraid I don't know any of those producers. I was hoping you'd say somebody more for tame, like Ken Bruce. I could have introduced you to Ken Bruce, but <laughs> he's probably not the sort of salad you'd be looking for. Hmm, I don't know. You never know. <laughs> he likes his middle of the road. <laughs> there we go. Anna there, singing for Slovenia. Thank you, Anna. Thank you.